Look for the CIA. The Blackbird has two 160,000 shaft horsepower engines, producing three times the total power output of the world's fastest destroyer. It swallows 100,000 cubic feet of air per second and uses 1,000 gallons of specially developed fuel an hour that costs more per quart than the most expensive Scotch whiskey. The extreme temperatures experienced in flight expand and seal its fuel tanks. But when it's cold on the ground, it leaks from every pore. The pilots who fly the Blackbird are the cream of the US Air Force. And because of the speed at which they fly, they are known as the untouchables. The temperature inside the engines is 3,400 degrees Fahrenheit and the air boils at 200 degrees for 3,000 feet behind its huge engines, which speed the plane through the air at over 2,000 miles an hour. The SR-71 Blackbird is still the fastest and the highest flying military plane of all time. Traveling at three times the speed of sound, it takes photos at 90,000 feet that can pick up the license plates on cars in a parking lot. It was designed by Lockheed in 1962 and was the aviation equivalent of redesigning the wheel. Its titanium body is built to withstand extreme kinetic heat. Its aerodynamic design baffles radar and it's powered by two of the largest jet engines ever built. When you look at the airplane, it looks very, very elegant and very purpose-built. You just get the idea that this thing wants to go fast and go very high, and it's really built to do that. You get an idea that you really got a thoroughbred on your hands here. This particular wing, which is called a delta wing, is really efficient as a high-speed cruise platform, and it also gives the airplane very good stability at low air speeds, which is required since it doesn't use any flaps for uh, takeoff or for landing. The tails have kind of an unusual design in that the bulk of the tail really forms the rudder. The tails are tilted inboard so that the vortex, which comes off the front of the airplane, that high energy vortex is superimposed over the rudders and vertical tails at slow air speeds. It puts a lot of high energy air back there and makes them very, very effective. The uh, fuselage of the airplane has uh, kind of an outer shell, and that outer shell is called a chine area. And that chine area is particularly useful for optimizing the airplane for very, very high speed crews. This airplane is probably one of the first stealth airplanes and the design of the chines as well as the material uh, used to, uh, to build the chines and the paint, uh, which is iron impregnated, all help uh, towards contributing to the uh, stealthy design of the airplane. It was really one of the first, if not the first, airplane that had stealth built into it. 34 years after it was first introduced, the Blackbird is still providing its pilots with a unique experience. I've seen five sunrises and sunsets uh, in one day. Uh, we've taken off out of Milden Hall in England at lunch and landed in Beale in California for breakfast. Virtually every flight, when you successfully make it up to Mach 3 or thereabouts, the thought of hurtling your, your body through space or through the atmosphere literally faster than a bullet and you can accelerate. Look out the window and it's, it's crystal clear. There's never any weather at our cruise altitudes. Um, the, the sky is, is a beautiful blue uh, and nothing is moving. And you look inside and hopefully nothing is moving uh, with the exception of the, the distance uh, indicator which is clicking off a mile about every two seconds. Uh, but it's totally serene, uh, almost euphoric.
faster the plane, the more dangerous it is for the pilot. An ingenious way had to be invented to throw the pilot clear of the tail. The first successful ejection from a plane happened in 1943 in Germany, and since then, rocket-powered ejection seats have saved the lives of 15,000 airmen. <laughs> 